It's Capital X at the Norte Show right here with the name you can trust, Manny Norte. Uh, Louis Essen is in the building. Of course. Louis Essen, you know. My guy. Come on, man. What are you saying? I've been saying this name for a long time, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I call you the ambassador. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, the oh. ambassador for the... um. For pushing, you okay, see what I'm saying? Okay. For the push, I'll take that. For the support, thank you. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. you've been there a long time, man. And true, uh, true. every time I got a record, you always plus play, man. I always, always do. And, always. And, and and you make my job easier because the stuff you do is like it's good quality. As well, nah, you know? thank you, man. I appreciate. It. Even like you know, like I appreciate your opinion so much. Like even like the times when I was making music and I was getting ready to come back, right? I come and play you just joints, and you'd true. be like, "True, this is true. the one." You see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, this, is, yeah, yeah. this is how I feel. Like yeah. yeah, man, it could run. So you know, like uh, we're friends on and off. Radio yeah. song. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, of course. It's always course. good. So, so yeah. I mean, I've seen the journey. It's been a, a, a mad journey, to be honest. Crazy. I remember, what, was Love, Love Drunk, was that your debut? That was my debut, yeah, debut. So. What's that? That's that's a straight 10 years, isn't it? Straight, probably 10 years now, yeah, thinking about it, probably. It must be a straight decade. Probably. Because, st- yeah, like Labyrinth. This is, that this was, that this was is around pre, pre How We Roll, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, when, when did Pass Out come out? Pass Out is 10 years old. So yeah, it's probably around that time because I remember that song was out when we was doing it. That's mad. Mad, isn't it? Ten years deep. Yeah, yeah, crazy. 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 Still still looking fresh face. Come on, man. Ah. You know me, man. (laughs) Keep it young, man. To change the bar back to go back to Orlando. You know. know. (laughs) 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 So I mean (laughs) yeah, we got where where do we start? It's been it's been a it's been a, a mad, mad journey. How do you feel? I feel really good, you know. Like I feel like I think taking the time out to do like some writing and and just yeah. travel as well because I felt like I got to a point where I felt like not that I would say I would ever like it was ever like feeling like I was forcing myself to get in the studio and make something new and forcing myself to feel inspired. Yeah, I just felt like at the time there was like a lot going on where I feel like I just wanted to do I just wanted excitement for other parts, like you know what I mean, because obviously I'm a writer as well. Right. So I just wanted to try and Work on like other parts of obviously the artistry, like just I guess being behind the scenes rather than just being the front man every minute. You know right. what I mean? Because I think that sometimes when you don't have the right people around you as well, yeah, in that time it could just get very draining. True. You know what I mean? So I felt like I just wanted to take some time out and just find the love for it again. You know what I mean? When was this? And um, that was this was like maybe three years, three years, three okay. years ago. Okay. So I, t- I took the time out. I went to Sweden. Oh wow! I went to. Uh, Amsterdam and then I stayed in LA for a long time obviously I caught you in LA yeah, for yeah, a little yeah, while yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying it's great yeah so I was out there yeah. um, just recording and writing and I just felt like I got a couple bangers in that in that motion and I felt like yeah I was feeling I was feeling Randy again yeah, yeah. feeling like my old <laughs> self you know what I'm saying so I felt like yeah it felt like the good time and I just felt like this record everywhere I took it to it just got the same the same response right. everywhere I went so I just felt like it was the right time you you mentioned Love Junk was produced by Labyrinth. Yeah, and this was this is ten years ago, bro. Ten years ago. Like you've you've worked with a lot of the greats, like the the writers, the producers, the artists, mm. and rappers. And I've noticed that there's a, a, an ongoing relationship. Like people like to really mess with your stuff. Do you know what I mean? No, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just uh, a good testament to see that you know people check for your talent. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah because course. you can sing, bro. You can. Now nah, I appreciate that. And obviously, when I see like even like coming back, like seeing yeah. as, like the support and the DMs that I'm getting. Um, from people saying, ah, oh, bro, you come back in a big way. Like, let me know when the video drops. You want to yeah. promote that and whatever. So it's like nice to know, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 so. for real. How We Roll was a big hit for you, right? Very big hit. We've been playing it kind of a lot. I wasn't even ready for that. It was such oh, a big really? hit, I wasn't even ready. So what happened? what happened? What happened? What happened when that dropped? When well, was I dropped, like, so, okay. So what happens? I dropped Love Drunk. Uh, yeah. Have some madness behind the scenes. Yeah. It, uh... I used to play Love Drunk in the clubs as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it does its thing. Yeah. Um, Okay. I dropped Stuttering with okay. Dappy. Okay, yeah. And um N dubs. Let's talk about the journey. And then uh and then yeah, how we roll. Like that Stuttering was my first top 40 record. Okay. So and then after that, bro, like how we roll just shot to like number two, you know what I mean? That is mad. It just shot to number two. And it's just like I was doing like number promo class, and everything. Times, yeah, and it was just like there was no indication to even know that it was gonna do that, you know what I mean? And I think I would have probably got number one if uh, DJ Fresh didn't have the Lucas A campaign. Ah! What song was that? Um, louder. I think louder. Yeah, louder. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So it's gonna get, it's gonna get louder. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So he beat me, but he was someone that I had started like 
in the industry with, funny enough, right. when I was young. Right. They had okay. put me with him to work with him. So it's like, even seeing him that day was like crazy. You know what I mean? Mad. Seeing where we both come from. And Number two single, you know? Crazy. And this was this was really like, it was pre, pre-socials. Really. Pre-socials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pre-socials. Yeah, yeah. Like, sometimes I think like, if they had Instagram and Twitter back then, when yeah. I was like, boy, they would have, they would have, my account would have been shut down every week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They would have been shut down my, my thing every week. Yeah, but, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but I think it's good, man. So from Harry Well, then what happened after that? You dropped some tapes and projects. Yeah, I dropped some tapes, and then after that, I just wanted to do my own thing because I only really kind of left because everything changed at the label. It weren't because uh, the music wasn't okay. whatever. It was just like there was a big change around. I think they wanted to change the direction of the artist that they had on there. And then um, they let me take my project. And then I just thought, like, um, I had the resources to do what I wanted to do by myself anyway. So I just thought, I put out a mixtape called ID. Obviously, that had a few names on there, like Youngin. Mad. Uh, Rich. Yeah. Uh, who else did I have again? Do you know, I'm not going to get into it because I'm probably going to miss some names. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be like, I was on that joint. <laughs> but, um, and then I put out Terminal 5. Big, big project, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, take yeah, our yeah. time here. Let's take yeah, our time. Yeah. Terminal 5, there was a song I was playing... Wait, my, my way, my, my way. way, my way, my way. Yeah, Big yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Now you press play on that for me, like, yeah. and, and and I appreciate that because sometimes people would hit me and say, "Bro, it's on the radio." Blah blah blah, and because that was like an organic. I made that like organically. That whole thing was made like even Stormzy, like the feature that I got from Stormzy on that. Okay, that was organic. Sick. Early as well. Early, early, like, yeah. early days. Like, yeah. cause he done he done like a remix to um a song that I had called Nobody as well. Nobody, nobody. And he wanted to shoot a video, but. I think he wanted to shoot the video just before I was trying to put out my video, so I think it didn't work out at the time. But we've always made sure that we've kept in contact. Sick, sick, sick. I even went to see him the other day uh, at, at his house and yeah. uh, playing Love. some music. Love that. And um, But yeah, I think, yeah, Steph London was on there. Yeah. So she's someone that I met early. Like, I always feel like I, like I meet him early, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people actually... Early. They check for you, like, do you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. they can see it's a real artist and real music. No, I appreciate that. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's not even know, oh, what numbers is he working with, this, that, and the other. Yeah. And the third, they like, really, really check for you, which mm. is good to see, you know what I mean? No, I appreciate that, yeah. The Norte Show right here, Capital Lecture, Louis Essien. So what's keeping you here? Why are you, how are you here in 2020? Um, what's keeping me here? What's keeping me here is that I'm listening to the radio and ain't enough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Ain't enough. Let's talk about that. It yeah. just ain't enough. Representation so, yeah, for R&B. Yeah, or... representation for the UK R&B scene. I just don't think there are enough. There are definitely people out there. Um, you got obviously the main names. Yeah. And then, um, but yeah, I just want to push it forward, man. I feel like we need some superstars in these lanes, man. You know what I mean? Because people are making some great music, some times music. And I feel like sonically, I feel like it's needed right now because... I love rap. Right. Like, I probably wanted to be a rapper yeah, more than yeah. a singer. You're kind of you're kind of you know rapping a certain song. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know like, what I'm doing saying? Bits, so it's definitely, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I definitely I remember. love it. But I think, like, as as you know, I just feel like there's, there's, like, balance in it. I just feel like no one's really making uh, what I think is... Uh, well, actually, no, people are making... Now, that's not the right way to say it. I think just people are making good, good music. I just don't think there's a support in it. And I feel like right now, what I'm looking at online, when I see online, like everybody's dropping right now. Like, everybody's got something new. So I feel like it's a good time to come together and try and make the hub if we can. Right, right. You know right. what I mean? And I just feel sonically, I feel like music like this is needed. You know what I mean? Where it's like... can be played by anyone, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, play it in front... Of, and what I like about this song, I play it in front of my mum. Uh, I could play it in front of... Anyone, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, it's just yeah, like, yeah. it's cool. It's not like trying too hard. I don't think I'm trying too hard at this point. Yeah. I'm just trying to make great music, great songs. And um, and just keep the content at a certain level. I feel like, by example. I, I feel like this year is, is a definite time for the UK R&B to really yeah. just, you know, put their right foot forward and just come through hard. Do you know what I mean? Because so many drill, like you've got like so many drill artists and... Yeah. And rappers and you know what I mean like have definitely done a lot yeah, 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 yeah. in like the last couple of years I feel like it'll be good to have like just a fresh a fresh genre fresh sound fresh sonics um, sound wise and uh, yeah I has it been like harder to push the projects that you've you've been putting out I think I, so just because I'm like a person that never likes to force anything I feel like if it if it if it does well it does well but if it like if it doesn't connect, it just doesn't. I'm on to the next one. You know what I mean? Because right. I, I feel like it's like a. a I feel like I taste as Jay Z said. It's like a a loser's mentality when you sit there and complain. So it's like, and that's what made me want to come back and 
and just lead by example in it. So like put out great music and and try and get people to support it and get it everywhere and, and perform everywhere I can and and just try and help the others that are coming through as well because I'm like realistically I'm just like a kid from an estate really that grew up that you know what I mean from the hood really if I'm being honest you know what I mean and I know there's other kids that are coming up and I want them to be able to know that yeah you can do this thing and even though there isn't like many blueprints to look at you know what I mean like you can come and like just put your best foot forward and, yeah 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 and, uh, and, and, and when things don't go right <clears throat> how do you how, how do you keep yourself going how do you keep, just keep yourself strong even for your mental like in, in life because this is what you want to do yeah and I just think it's important to have good people around you I know yeah. people always say that but it's so important because yeah. if you don't have people that are like like minded I swear it just it's just tiring man like to be around people that don't get it it's yeah. just it just gets tiring after a while, you know what I mean? So definitely surround yourself with people that like are either on the same journey as you or have just have the same mind frame in, in terms of pushing positivity and just bettering themselves, man. Yeah, and just yeah. waking up. Cause even like I look at you when when I, when I talk to you like on um when we speak on the phone and yeah. I'm like, bruv, you're up already. Like, bro, I'm <laughs> like barely even done anything. You know what I'm saying? You've gone to the gym, you're at the radio. Yeah, yeah, now yeah, you're yeah. at tape. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I can't even keep up. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm not doing enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, just keep people around you, man, that are like um, pushing for better things. It's man. true, it's true. And I see you in the clubs as well. You like to go out. Yeah, 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 what's, yeah, what's yeah, 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 yeah. You're a genuine, yeah, yeah, yeah. genuine fan of music as well. Genuinely, which genuinely, is important. Like, genuinely, yeah. You got your finger on the pulse as well. You know yeah, 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 yeah. Even though I missed planet oh yeah 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 but yeah. we won't talk about that yeah, yeah 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 my mind wasn't right you yeah. know what i'm saying but i should have been there and next time i'm gonna be there you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be the last person standing sick, sick, sick. so who in the states have you worked with you worked with a lot of people in the states oh as well. man yeah when i was there say you say something they start yeah. screaming oh you know, my goodness you got a story that's you know me i don't like to brag but since nah, you asked yeah, yeah yeah please speak bro. um i worked with um this really cool kid i think he's gonna have like a really big year his name's called mike sabbath Mike Sabbath, we'll look out Cold. for him. Definitely yeah. got to look out for him. A singer, um, writer, or... writer, producer, singer, okay. like extraordinary. He's like a young legend, man. Okay, okay. Um, who else I work with? Uh, LMA. Okay, yep. We got uh, LMA, yep. Smashing it. Uh, a fun fact is that uh, she's actually family. Oh wow! So yeah, yeah, yeah. She wrote um, uh, Ada's part on on, on uh, whatever single. you like. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. We'll so that's a fun that. fact. Okay, yeah, sick. So. I don't want to give away too much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, yeah, just a few cool producers like, um, who else have I worked with? Uh, obviously, Mr. Easy, obviously, on yep. this. Yep. Um, Wretch. Yeah. Uh, worked with Eric Bellinger. Sick. Um, I'm trying to think who else. I feel like I don't want to feel like I'm missing anyone. So, but a lot of people. Would you, how do you find a difference from doing R&B? Because you've been to the States. Yeah. So, would you still reside here? Or would you, Pack up and go and try and live out there and do it out there. I definitely stay here because I just feel like so much good stuff is happening here. Yeah, like yeah. even now, like I'm not even trying to make. I don't want my music to sound American. I'm not trying to like do that thing of like I'm trying to be noticed over there. I just feel like when it happens yeah, gradually, yeah. I'm gonna work on my hometown and we're gonna build from here. If it, we're, we're gonna branch out anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but yeah. we're gonna start from the hub and get it right. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I'm all for it, man. Obviously, music's international. Obviously, you want to be able to like tour everywhere. You don't want to be able to just tour in your hometown. So that's the plan to obviously get out there. But I'm just focused on, I feel like, as I said, so much good stuff's happened in the UK. It's like before, when I was young, you couldn't really just say like, oh, I'm listening to UK music. You know what I mean? It was like a lot of American music over here people are listening to. But like now you've got like so many good artists, like even like even in the drill scene, like I like Frosty, like... There's so many young kids coming through that I'm, mm. like, I'm just, I'm feeling what they're doing. And, six, six, and you six. could just listen to just UK music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Real, real. NSG. Yeah. You got J Huss. Yep. Um, whatever albums. Um, Psycho Drama. Yeah. From Santa and Dave. Like, yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like at a, a certain level as well where it's just like you can listen and know that like we got some big like titans over here. You know what I'm saying? Six, six, oh, six, six. The Note Show Capital Lecture. Louis Essien in the building. 2020. New decade. Come on. New project. Of course. Let's talk about it. Yeah. So firstly, Rich Free 2. Yeah. You've got a long working relationship with Rich, right? Very long, over 10 years, yeah. That's mad. He yeah. jumped on a few of your records, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, What was the one, um, ah, uh, um, ah, uh, when you talk about the trunk and, that, and, and the boot. Oh, Too Grown. Too Grown. Amazing. <laughs> I know you can't say that about your own stuff, yeah. but I like that one. <laughs> Big tune, you know? Yeah. Six, six. So what's it like working with Rich? Um, good, man. As I said, like, it's always easy because... 
we're friends like apart from that. Like I go to his house to watch boxing and that right. and like and and whatever. And it's just like as I said, it's like over ten years deep. Like the first time I met him, I think he got me a cab to go and meet him like after school. It's like when I was like 15, after 16. School, this yeah. was like movement times That's where he's mad. like, yeah, 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 you know, they're yeah. doing the DVDs and yeah. it's like practice hours. Everybody's yeah. got these kind of DVDs. Um, and, I, and the first time I saw him, I was starstruck. I can't even lie. <laughs> and it's weird now to know that like we're just normal yeah. friends now. Do you know what I mean? And he's someone that I still respect as like musically and just, and he's like a real like, I, I call him big homie because like, there's been a lot of times where he's brought me out and to do MOBOs. That's like been my first award show. He made me come on tour with him. He didn't even make me pay. Wait, hold on a minute. I came to one show. Remember the one in Birmingham? Okay. Yeah. I do remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I was I all backstage. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's always like, even like when I'm quiet, he'll call me and okay. say like, what's going on, Lou? Like, Come through. You can almost feel. Yeah, you can just feel like, just feel like you say, come through to the studio. So it's like someone that I check for, I check for. Okay, okay. I check for him. That's my, that's my guy. So you got him on a new record. Talk to you about the new record and who else? So yeah. So then um, we got Mr. Easy because obviously that's a big, that's a big one. Yeah, big one, big one. And um, I think uh, it was really good because just what Afro Beats is doing. Obviously, I'm from Ghana, Nigeria. Man, a lot of people don't know that, but yeah, he was Nigerian too. Yeah, yeah, I'm Nigerian. My dad's Nigerian, and my mum's. Oh, really? Yeah. Can we stop the interview now, then, please? (laughs) (laughs) Conflict of interest. (laughs) So your dad's Nigerian. Yeah, my dad's Nigerian. And your mom, okay, your mom's Ghanaian. Okay, I never knew that. I never knew that. Some people think I'm Jamaican or something. Be like, really? Nah, nah, nah. Ah. nah, nah. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. He's like, I don't think. I <laughs> never, I never thought that. <laughs> no, but some people come to me and they're like Jamaica. I'd be like, I don't even look Jamaican. Yeah, yeah, African yeah. features over here. Straight, man. straight, straight. Okay, so yeah, Mr. Easy's a nice feature. Yeah, so um, yeah, so we got that through uh, like friends. That was just like a social group. Yeah. Where that happened, that came through, and that happened naturally. Sick. And I feel it was good because he brought like the Afro vibe to it. I'm bringing the R and B vibe. Ella's bringing the female R&B vibe and obviously Wretch is bringing like the Jamaican kind of rap yeah. patois kind of yeah. yeah. you know, so I think it's it's a nice blend you know what I mean Sick. and just mashed it together but um, and then obviously Ada I've got Ada she was brand new and I, I found her through like just looking at um some like YouTube stuff just trying to look for like new artists because I'm always like looking for new artists and whatever online uh, and I came across her and we was looking for um, a vocalist at the time um, for the song and um, she just fits so perfectly and obviously we're on the same label as well so it just makes sense that's a big look so um, so talk to you so the, the single's out right now single's out right now you can stream that um, make sure you tell do him, tell them tell make tell sure him. you go and get that on Spotify yeah. it's on YouTube make sure yeah. you stream the hell out of that yeah. these views rack them views on up on Apple as well you know what I mean Apple everywhere yeah. Amazon you, you can, can buy find it, it everywhere yeah, 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 buy yeah. it stream that okay let's go let's get into it I like that I like that the Norte Show Captain Lecture Louis Essien right here um, right, let's go back to early, early, early. Because hmm. you can sing, bro. Like, no, sometimes I think I'm listening to Usher. Like, oh my God. now seriously, yeah. you're hitting notes, Don't gas bro. me out. Now Don't I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> it's not even a gas. Yeah. Like, you tell me, <laughs> it's no gas, it's real. Oh, man. Like, you, you, no, can, you can actually sing. How? Yeah. Uh, you got brothers and sisters that are singers or your mum and dad from music? I don't, family? you know. I just think my mum always just had really good music taste, you know. Like, really? Always had, like, even now, she'll play me, like, stuff that's brand new. Really? Yeah, she's very in tune with what's going on. She sent me like a YouTube video of someone singing their face off, or but it's like a new artist. So sometimes I might even find like, and even how like the LMA thing came about, my mum hooked it up. Okay. Yeah. Your mum hooked up. My mum hooked up there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Because obviously it's like family in. No, but but, but, but whatever, how, so. how are you singing like that? Are you are you going church or you just woke up and started singing? Church or? definitely listen to a lot of gospel. Like. Right. One, like growing up, like in terms of vocalist and and stuff like like Kim Burrell, uh, Jay Moss, uh, some Clark sisters. Okay, yeah, these are big names. Oh big, my big, big gospel names, right? It's here. Crazy. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm trying to think who else. Because you don't you don't normally hear these kind of vocals. To be really honest, yeah, 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 yeah. You got tune rate. in, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But when I was coming through, that was like the thing in it to be able to like. Sing is like Usher, like confessions. Yeah, you know what I mean. Crazy it was like level. it was like top tier. Yeah, like yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. You don't even want to sing on R and B if it ain't sounding like yeah, that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. True. So, so you push yourself. Yeah, you just push yourself, and I think obviously I was around a good, a lot of good uh, artists at the time as well when I was coming through that were like 
excellent at their craft at the time. So it's just like, it's competitive, you know what I mean? You want to be out there um, and be the best, innit? So who, what albums were you listening to? What artists were you listening to? Uh, I, liked, I liked the Summer Walker album. It grew on me. No, 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 when you started. Oh, when I started. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we'll when get I started, um, Usher's definitely a big... Uh, you he's could definitely, hear it. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's definitely it. a big, uh, a big one, man. Because that Confessions album, I still don't think that personally there's like an R and B album, male wise. That's better than that. I just don't, man. Like start to finish, like you wouldn't right. lose you a song right. on the right. album. I feel like that's it's seamless. Confessions album was tough, crazy. Changed the game, to be honest. Burn, yeah. Confessions itself, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, oh, it's too many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Too many bangers caught up. Okay. Oh, the video as well. Okay, yes, yeah, so a yeah. Confessions album. A lot. Yeah. And then, um, what else would I say? Uh, Confessions album. We listen to a lot of Jay Z. I like okay. Jay Z. If okay. I'm being honest, he's like one of my favorites. Okay. Um, who else? Uh, Brandy. Okay. Of course. Yep. Uh, like Jasmine Sullivan a lot. Okay. Yeah, 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 like yeah. Like yeah, Jasmine yeah, Sullivan yeah, a lot. Yeah, real, real, real. Uh, Sick. It. Um, it's good to know. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just like to name a few. Yeah. But those are like probably like the Ma Lauren Hill, of okay. course. Yep, Lauren yep, Hill. Yeah. Um. Whitney. Okay. Whitney. Yeah. Uh, Alexandra O'Neill. Okay. 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 Um, wow. Yeah. That yeah. is like one of my favorite songs. If you were here tonight, that's like probably one of my. I, but if someone asks me what's your favorite song, that's probably like my favorite song. Oh, it's a classic to me. Really? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm trying to think of anything. It's hard when you're on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I said, yeah, albums now. What are you listening to now? So you said, you albums said now. I like Summer Walker. Yeah. I think she's super hard. I yeah. like Snow Allegra. Is it Snow Allegra? Snow Allegra is yeah. killing it. Crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like her. Yeah. I like her. I'm looking forward to her album. Like, I know she dropped like a lot of um, uh, just, uh, are they called like EPs? Would you say they're EPs? Yeah, kind of little, little, yeah. But yeah. I feel like they have been albums, but they're like an EP form. Yeah, yeah, you know she, what I mean? Because they're really strong. She got really nice voice, nice texture. Very. The song she's got with Stormzy at uh, one second is crazy. Crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, and a okay. lot of um, I like Psycho Drama. Okay, okay. Yeah. You did like that album. Yeah. Uh, liked Wretch's album. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, I'm on there as well. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you got you got to play that. So um, what's what's 2020 looking for you now? The rest of the year. Um, more tour. I just want to tour, man. Okay. I want to get on these tours. I want to get on these festival seasons. Okay. I want to okay. be out there. Okay. Man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've been locked up for too long. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to. I want to get back ready? singing. Yeah, I'm ready, ready man. I, I'm. Uh, I feel like I sound better than I did before. I feel like I've done a long, uh, a lot of growing. Yeah. And yeah, man. I just want to get this musicality out there on these stages. You know. Do you saying? practice? Do you practice singing as well a lot? Or? Yeah, like even keys and. So what would you do for a singer coming up now? What would you, what would you tell them? Um, I'd say, man, just... Uh, just listen, man. I think listening to um, detail, attention to detail, okay. I think helps a lot. Because I feel like a lot of that's gone Yeah, because people, need to, know, people now. need to know. Need, they need to hear these things. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. attention to detail. And I think just care about the art. Because... You can hear when someone doesn't care. You know what I mean. It feels microwave sometimes when you okay, don't care. Okay, I like you know what I mean? that. Say that so, again. Yeah, it feels microwave. So maybe just put a bit more love and care into it. You know what I'm saying? I like and that. a bit more attention to detail. I like that. And um, because really, when I look at all the greats, the people that I listen to, it's just like everything down to like the changes in the music and just the uh, the key like modulations yeah and, you know like to give you that feeling that you're looking for and whatever i just think like yeah really study this this stuff man See. i mean i need to on, on <laughs> <laughs> really study this stuff you know what i mean and uh and uh yeah get into your craft man because i'm telling you man there's nothing like being able to sit down and being able to create what you can hear in your head you know what i yeah, mean yeah, yeah, but yeah. it takes practice <laughs>